Goosebumps is rated Y7 because it may be too spooky for kids. Hello, Goosebumps fans. Let's talk about it. So it's been a few days, and sometimes I just get whispers and thoughts of... Not that. Jeez. Stop. Jeez, what the heck? But anyways, I'm just getting thoughts of... What if Slappy is so underrated? Oh, sorry. Overrated. Yeah, because I have listened to two coverages... And the two coverages of the first three books just makes it seem like this guy is a freaking, he's not intimidating at all. He totally sucks. And it's like the only way, which funny enough, the only way how he actually is dating is by actually seeing him on TV. The episodes themselves, the two slash three episodes we saw make Slappy even more intimidating and more of a character that he's hyped up to. All the books, however, oh man, let's just recap the first three books, shall we? Because that's what Potterina is doing and he's going to stop and he's not going to even look into further. Well, I talk about it further. Uh, it's been a while, so not really unless I get all the ducks in a row or unless someone comments down below and give me all the facts of everything just to make sure I know what I'm talking about. But anyways, here's the first three. So the first one, I already made a video on that. Slappy's a coward. Slappy is a freaking wimp in the first book because it's either it, the words were read and he was in the vicinity even though he was upstairs or b it was read again which that was comic book wise it was read again to try to put mr wood to sleep and that actually woke up slappy and slappy yeah <laughs> which is kind of funny being like mixing in what the reality is, is that I'm Slappy's evil twin was actually the very first book. And then it's followed by the seventh one. Or it's just, I don't know. But I would tell you that, <clears throat> be it A, Slappy actually was alive once. And it's not like what's going on with Dennis. Dennis has a different story. But anyways... He was awake this whole entire time. He was a freaking awake. The whole staring at her, he was alive. He was freaking alive. And you know what he did? Instead of being like, no, this is my slaves. These are my slaves. Mine. Instead, he's like, I'm going to bite my time and wait until they do away with this dumb idiot. And then I'll take control. That sounds like a wimp move to me, man. That sounds like a wimp move to me. Wimp move. So that's what happened in the first book and he finally got to have it and then they subdued him, which is like, it makes sense now how he's subdued. I mean, it seems to me that he's able to be subdued and they're like, yeah, um, here you go. Here you go, store we bought the other one from. <laughs> uh, man. I don't even know. It's like, I don't know for sure. It's like, what's that store even? I don't even know. We got that store. It's like never going to be even talked about ever again. So the second one, <laughs> the second one, I think it was a store. Was it store or trash? Frick, I, I uh, blurred lines. But anyways, either way, Slappy comes into the house. He actually this time takes initiative, but he is subdued by the two girls. He they tie his arms and legs together and just sub and just throw him away. Yes, he came back, but still he got thrown away. And it, it seems to me that his threats, even though he can threat, he right now what we can see that this is his first actual book. He doesn't have any power. He doesn't show any power. Only thing you can show is that he has crappy painting skills. <laughs> yeah, that's it. He got crappy painting skills. And he knows how to frame people. That's it. That's all he got. That's all he actually has. He has no way how to deal with a blade. He has no idea how to use a gun. I doubt he'll be able to even hold it. So it's like... You're not a danger. All you got is empty threats, stupid. Empty freaking threats. And of course, well, 
unlike Slappy, Dennis never was alive in the first place. So now he's alive and he doesn't know what the fuck to think about it or anything. And he's like, oh God, I'm just going to stay still because if he knows I'm alive, he's going to do crap to me. And it's like, it makes sense because the dude knows what he's doing. So yeah, Dennis only actually was truly active at the very end where he just straight up went WWE on him and just freaking tackled his ass and boom his head is cracked open and you would figure that's the end of the whole entire book that's the end that's the end slappy the end no he brought back in the third one which weird how the episode and that book actually has disagreements so his brain, he glues his head back together. The words were said. And, well, he's subdued. It's like, yeah, eventually he gets subdued after the first half. It's like it was just fake outs and stuff. Then he gets really ready. And he's like, okay, I want you all to be my slaves. And It's like they took him and threw him in the damn well. He did get to come back, but, geez, <laughs> I'm liking them episode where it shows that oh he's able to actually breathe life into animate objects that comes in later but i mean even when it comes to like the book ver book version period it looks like the episode version is a little bit more powered it's like yeah so he's able to breathe in and eventually he's able to do animate object crap in I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure if I'm really pinpointing it right, correct me down below, but I'm pretty damn sure he's able to do anim animate objects with dummy versus mummy. I'm pretty sure that's the first time ever he actually did that. And it's like, wow, it took him that long to get that power. We write an episode, he's able to do it. He's able to just give essence and <sighs> yeah. Actually, I think in the uh, Bride book, in the fourth book, I think he was able to actually do possession. But in the third, in the third, in the second episode, that wasn't possession. That was actually maybe sharing essence of some crap or breathing life into him. So it's like, yeah, that's completely different. So yeah, third book. Um, let's see third book okay i'm just making sure i don't mix it with the episode i did that once and i don't want to do it again so yeah and then all of a sudden he plays possum he's like dude the frick it's like how in the world does that even work you would figure that he actually knows how to freaking damn fight because the other ones as soon as the words were read again all the other ones came and swarm on him you would figure this is the time that Slappy will actually show that he knows how to fight. He knows how to actually tussle and freaking throw people in crap. You would figure that's how it goes. And it takes him all the way to the fifth book to actually show that, yeah, he knows how to actually fight. Even though that was cut. It's like, oh my gosh, how the freak does that work? And I think in a fourth one, he did actually pimp Slap Mary Ellen. I think he did roughhouse her a minute. I think she, he did after we look, but I'm pretty sure he did do it. And that was the first start or something. I don't freaking damn know. All I can tell you is that when it comes to actually fighting, even if it's just one to one, our actual look and him doing it was actually the fifth book. And he wasn't even freaking awake. He was actually asleep doing a kind of spiritual battle. So it's like, what the hell? <laughs> what the hell so in all three books it just shows that he's really actually really overrated i mean he's not really a threat he never actually done anything until when he got a little bit more sinister in a way because goosebumps 2000 mm, that was all freaking um wally well Goose on 2000, the first one, that was Mary Ellen. Mary Ellen did most of the things. Then you have Wally because, well, in this case, he actually had to fight for his soul. And he had to do good deeds. Good deeds to make it out. And then Goosebumps Horror Town, I mean, sorry, Horror Land came out. And then he actually truly actually went messed up to actually push someone down the stairs. 
<laughs> almost to their deaths, but he just pushed them down the stairs. I think I remember that correctly. He pushed someone down the stairs. So, and he wanted to actually wipe the memory or brain scramble a girl. So it's like, holy frick. Yeah, he got a little bit more. And he has like payback. <laughs> it's like, oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll show you. I'm going to man up even more. And yeah, I guess he kind of did, but he still got subdued mostly every single time. Only when it came to. Uh, slappy world when he finally actually wins at stuff. Yeah, it's only in Slappy World where some of them he actually wins. I know that for Ghost and Slappy and Dummy versus Money Mummy, he kind of actually wins. Yeah, he wins in those. He actually does win. It ends with him choking a kid. So yeah, I mean. Unless we can start actually analyzing him, which I need more, I need more, I need more, which I guess I'll start looking into it. But more importantly, it's just a fact of the early years. I mean, until he actually really in Goosebumps 2000 when he takes off. I say Goosebumps Horror Town, Horror Land, but still. Even so, it's like the first three basically weren't good enough. I mean, yes, the gimmick of, oh my gosh, he's a laughing, he's a little venture of his dummy, oh my god. But if we really analyze it, he didn't do much, really. He didn't actually do much. I mean, he's doing better now, which is like, that's what I kind of figure is that it's just a slow snowball. And eventually he's coming to the ranks of being like Mr. Wood. But it took him a long time for him to do it. <laughs> it took him a long time for him to do it. And that's the weird part. It's like, you would figure he would already be at par with Mr. Wood. But of course, if he was, then he wouldn't have been a scared nut. He would have been a scared wuss in the first book. He would have actually went against Mr. Wood. Which, it took him to the fifth book and it's not even physical. And Mr. Wood is alive still. And he didn't actually go against them. And technically, I think the fifth book was switched with the fourth book by accident. And oh my goodness, he got ditched. And he didn't even try to look for Jimmy O. James ever again. <laughs> it's like, yeah, Jimmy O. James got Mr. Wood. And you would figure Mr. Wood would actually be a jerk back like he used to be. But I don't think he is. I don't know. Maybe he mellowed out or something. It's like, yeah, a new lease on life. And this time he's not going to get fucked over again. He knows how to actually just be okay with things. <laughs> yeah, well, um, Slappy got a little bit more abusive verbally. Yeah, he got definitely abusive verbally. So, anyways, pretty sure Slappy is really overrated. And, yeah, there's going to be one guy who's like, where you live. These are fighting words, man. Where you live. I got to finish this. And I'm like, oh, good Lord, man. He's like, hey, 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 I'm just telling you the facts. I'm sorry that the facts suck, but it's the truth. I think he's overrated. And I still have the allegations of every single slappy world book might actually be exaggerated or and for the kids not to get killed because they're going to so. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Diary of a Dummy. He wins in that, too. So it's like for the sake of the kids not being screwed over, um, they have to lie. <laughs> yes, he's forcing them to lie. Either A, he's forcing them to lie, but considering this is his world, he's able to tell the story whatever way he wants. Basically meaning the stories that's about him. For the most part, he actually is telling lies. He's actually not telling the full truth, which means I shouldn't really hate Anna Lee, but I kind of do hate her right now. But as for I'm um, Slappy's evil twin, though, he actually allows himself to be screwed over because in a way he does like his brother. He does like Snappy because he allowed Snappy not to be the one blown up and sent somewhere he allowed him to actually be the one that's like, <laughs> but you would kind of figure that in a way, technically shouldn't it be reversed where he's the one who's playing innocent. Well, but of course that's not a good twist. Anyways. Yeah. Have a scary day. Have a scary night.